Hi everyone! In this video, we are going to run our first API test. Let's begin. Let's start from checking the developer's comment one more time. As you see, the developer is a good developer. He provided the seven steps for us. Let's go through all steps, one by one. The first line is, the new QA will need to call this endpoint. The endpoint, in this case, is the synonym of the path. We have discussed that the path resides after the host name and is separated by slash. In our case, we don't know the domain name yet. Because of it, we will leave it unknown. The same is about the method. In the first two lines of the developer's comment, there is no information about those. The developer started from the end of the URL, the path. In the second line of the comment, the developers mentioned that the pad ID is the path parameter and that he recommends using the ID1. We haven't talked about the path parameters yet because we will have a separate video about those. For now, let's just change the end of path, one as specified in the comment. And let's put the path to the postman, into the URL line, and check the next part of the developer's comment. And here we go, we can see the missed parts of the URL. When somebody says the base URL, in most cases they mean the domain name. The developer mentions that the method should be HTTPs. We didn't talk about that earlier. Because the difference between HTTPS and HTTP deserves a separate video. For now, all that you need to know is that HTTPS is the same as HTTP. And the S letter means secured. This means that request data is encrypted and only the client and server can read those. We will talk about it separately. For now, let's add the missing parts to the URL into the postman. Now we have the full URL and in our simple course. There is only one thing left to send the request, the request method. And it is specified in the fifth line of the comment, the method get. We are ready to send the request. The get method is selected by default in the postman. It's time to click the send button. And here we go. We have got the response back. What we see is the response is status 200 OK. And response body is in JSON format. We will talk about JSON in a separate video as well. You can see that the category is cats. The name is Tom and the status available. That is the main benefit of the JSON format. You haven't learned it yet, but you can understand it already. Let's compare what we see in the response here to what the developer mentioned in the comment. And the expected response is mentioned in the sixth and seventh lines of the comment. Developer says that for the valid request, the 200 response should be returned back. It is exactly what we got, 200 OK response. But when we check the response body, we can see that the body we received in the response is not the same as the body mentioned in the comment. We don't see photo URLs, tags, and some other data is different. All of this should be clarified with stakeholders. But in general, our first request is sent, and we can write the first happy path test case, from which we will start exploratory and investigation. Hope to see you there! Thank you for watching. If you like coffee or a coffee shop, leave a thumbs up, if not thumbs down. See you in the next video.